today's video, it's going to be episode 17 of me makeup nonsense bingo. So let's just get straight on into it. So I'm gonna start with the Sephora favourite sets. I think these are really interesting, the Sephora favourite sets. Personally, I've never tried them. So the F Sephora favourite sets I find quite interesting. Personally, I've never tried any myself, but they do seem interesting. I'm kind of figuring out where to put this. There's one where I'm going to probably say to that one, we can't escape the holiday makeup. Lights like I have their 2023 villain uh, Halloween collection. I think this, I've never tried anything from Lights Lacquer, like I really should try some of their nail polishes at some point, like does seem quite interesting, just going to zoom in a little bit, move you a little closer, might move you up a little bit. That's better. Mm, I'm going to say to that one. I'm probably going to say same thing, new packaging, because Lights are Lacquer's nail polishes do look the same, just a different collection. The shades are, of the nail polishes are Frenemies Black Sheer Polish with a Jelly Finish. Sorry, not sorry. Grey Purple Base Polish with a Teal Shimmer and a Shimmer Finish. Bite Me Metallic Deep Chrism Polish with a Shimmer Finish. Unfort. Chinette Souls Purple Duo Chrome with a green shift and a shimmer finish. Limited edition Boo! You wear transparent glow in the dark topper. Sold out. Anti Hero Deep Black Green Polish with a creme finish. Limited edition 3D Chrome Art Nail Stickers. Limited edition Verone Ring. Limited edition Double Trouble Ring. Next we have Pat McGrath, which they're holiday collections. I'm like, to be honest. I'm not really that interested. Like I don't find them that interesting. I'm gonna probably say to that one a bundle deal nobody wants. Hard Candy have their Wednesday collection spotted in Walmart. There's an eye palette. I'm allergic to colour. Flattery will get you nowhere. Raven Dance, Friends or Woe, Wolf Out, Stay. Kooky, very hands-on makeup puff. Liquid eyeliner in black is my happy colour. Woo! Nevermore, little scorpion outcast are in. Lip liner, torment, little viper. I honestly am not majorly interested in this one. I do like the purples, but I'm shades, but I'm not really interested. I'm probably going to say to that one, a collab that won't die because I don't think a Wednesday collab's gonna die. <laughs> then something very exciting that is more my thing. Angelica Nykovist and Hella collab. This is the Hella Halloween collection. I'm like this has eyeshadow two eyeshadow palette lip products. Like this is such a cool collection, I will tell you. Like I like the one with like the purples and the blues because that is definitely my colour story to a T. Going to say to that one, mm, I really don't know. I think we'll say, I think we'll say to that one, put it on my face because I do like it a lot. Shantikai have their holiday 2023, they have their lip crystal. Precious Gold Illuminating Powder, Radiant Gold Eye Shimmer, Brilliant Gloss, Radiant Blur Glow Powder, Mini Puff and Blur Brush. To be honest, I'm like, I find Shantikai kind of boring, like, not really something I'm interested in. The packaging's quite pretty, I'm going to say pretty embossing basic makeup. Then something else spotted in Walmart, Wet and Wilder. Doing a Scooby Dooby Doo collection. This includes Scooby Dooby Doo, Where Are You? Eyeshadow palette, G -G Ghost Glitter palette and brush set, R 
Ruh, three priests, nail polish set. Makeup bag that glows in the dark. Glow madness, glow in the dark, body and face crowns. Scooby night, glows in the dark, three piece brush set. Damsel knot, in distress, two piece recreatable eyeliner set. Puppy power, cream blush, lip crayon, mystery slim, lip mask. Hand mirror and keychain set, shimmery liquid eyeliner. Makeup sponge, glows in the dark. Coming soon on their website. I do like Scooby Doo. Like, I do like it. I'm going to say to that one. Another collab product that wouldn't die is Scooby Dooby Doo. Makeup Revolution. Another collab I feel like. Another collab that won't die. Makeup Revolution have a collection with Emily in Paris. They have the palette, lip gloss, lipstick, lip balm, under eye patches, set of brushes, blush lighter, eyeliner and mascara coming soon. I'm going to probably say to that one, Drunk Me would buy it because Drunk Me would forget. I'm not interested in Makeup Revolution. Goop have their colour blur glow balm. Goop went Patra. This is the second colour product that the skincare brand is coming out with. They are diving into skincare infused cosmetics. Colour blur glow balm sheer but buildable with C buckthorn oil, vitamin E and sunflower oil to boost moisture and protect the skin. Slipper warm peach, Veltine soft mauve, Venus soft peach, whiskey warm terracotta, afterglow soft berry. I'm gonna say to that one even more skincare. Colourpop have their 1111 collection. This includes your Right on the Path eyeshadow palette with 12 nudes in matte, metallic, matte sparkle, pearlescent glitter finish, pressed powder blush with a soft matte finish, good energy pink nude, claim it warm beige, message me warm terracotta, luxe lipstick blur, feeling energy angelic warm beige, Dig It's a cool tone beige, so magentic pink top, aligned warm chocolate, shadow stick, angel vibes metallic ice champagne, gim assigned matte saddle brown, so celestic matte deep top with silver pinpoints. Mm, I'm really not interested in this collection, like I just think it's too neutral for me. I'm going to say Colourpop yet again. Then we have another. Essence have their pink is the new black collection. Mm, I am not so sure. I'm gonna say same thing new packaging because everyone's done that like colour changing makeup. KVD have their dazzle metallic eyeshadows. One swipe piper metallic finish packed with multi-chrome shimmers that intensify as blend set fast vegan cruelty free multi-chrome shades with a deep space black base green nobler emerald green shimmer with a black base violet aurora purple blue shimmer with a black base blue shift till blue shimmer with a black base coming soon on their website and retailers I'm like, very, very interesting. I'm going to say all the multi-chromes. Rod have their new lip treatments. Peptide lip tint, sheer but buildable colour that melts onto lips for a hint of tint and rich, glossy finish. Fragrance tree formula leaves lips naturally plump, hydrated and nourished for, from within. There's the Ribbon Sheer Pink Toast Rose Top, Raspberry Jelly Crushed Berry, Espresso Rich Brown will be available on September the 28th on their website. And I'm going to say to that one, I'd rather not because I don't really need any more lip products. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye.